The New Orleans enthusiast lined Lake Pontchartrain to get a look at the speedboat competition. In the superboat division, three crews started with the Popeyes crew, the last across the starting line. They had their problems getting things going. We had a problem getting on the plane initially because the engines were loading up. And uh, so we really had a little difficulty getting on the plane to get started. And then when we started, we, we, it was not intended from that point on. We took, that's when we started passing boats after that. On the course that consisted of three rectangles, the Flapjack crew took the early lead. On lap three, the Popeyes team had taken the front position, but they had some navigating problems. After completing one long lap of 35 miles, the Popeyes crew should have then gone three short laps. Instead, they went four. That put them about nine miles behind. From then on in, it was a catch-up game for Al Copeland and his Popeyes crew. With eight laps remaining, they never caught the leader. With the fastest boat in the field, they did make up some time, but not enough. We had the home court. We won the race. We would have won the race, you know? It's, it really is ridiculous, but it's all racing. You know? In this year's edition of the Popeyes Offshore Grand Prix, the checkered flag went to the flapjack crew. The winning captain was Howard Quam. He is a drop faster than us, and uh, he knows when to use it, and he used it about the right time, and then he made that error, unfortunately. But I thank him. I'm going to go over and pay off as a navigator. <laughs> In New York, the 117th running of the boat. Error at his restaurants was not as sharp at his superboat today. The defending champion of the Popeyes offshore powerboat race would have won on Lake Pontchartrain, but a navigational error by his crew really cost him. The race started under ideal conditions this afternoon with a rather mild atmosphere, but Copeland and his boat kind of spiced things up a bit. They were in the lead, then the Popeyes boat mistakenly ran an extra nine-mile lap. They lost the lead at that point, later attempted to close the gap, but they could not as another boat went into the lead. Flapjack driven by Howard Quam of Chicago. And there they are. They pulled ahead to win. Flapjack, a 38-foot catamaran powered by two 700-horsepower uh, engines, Mercury engines. As for Al Copeland, well, he handled the setback like a good sport. He had a bad start, got uh, up from the back, came all the way up, took first place, took the lead. And I think we had to lead for about a lap, a lap and a half, and we miscounted the laps. It's as simple as that. And... Uh, we thought, we thought when we turned off to come back to make the next lap, we thought it, was, it would be three laps, but it was actually four, and so we made one more lap. See, if the race had been a little longer, we'd have won. <laughs>